You're watching News Tonight. We are live on GH1 Television. Coming up now is Insight. Imagine living in a world where no one understands your emotions because you cannot speak. You are equally forced to accept whatever is handed to you because you cannot express yourself in any form. That is the case of 24-year-old physically and mentally challenged Wanda uh, to Shyman here in Accra. He spends most of his time locked up with ducks his parents keep, and that is the price he has to pay for being struck by an unknown condition. Alice Aite has more in the following report. Without pants or diapers, 24-year-old Wanda crawls like a baby in this enclosed area with his parents' dogs. Named Wanda, his condition is very puzzling to his poor parents. His mother says he got missing for three whole days right after birth before he was brought to her. Left alone most often to do his own thing, he gets stained with dirt and sometimes by his own feces mingled with waste products from the ducks. Wanda cannot walk, talk or do anything for himself and so he cannot communicate when he feels the urge to ease himself or urinate. At 24, his mother is too poor to furnish him with diapers to at least keep him clean. The inability to do anything for himself means he is heavily dependent on his 50-year-old mother who is also jobless. Wanda's mother, Mama Kos, tells me they have no clue what condition their son is suffering from since he has been like this since infancy. They didn't tell me nothing that this is the reason why my son made like this or like this. They didn't tell me nothing. So up till now, 24 years, you don't know what is wrong with him? I don't know what is wrong. Just ask me my experience or whatever. Yeah, I just told myself that maybe the injection that the... Because it takes many injections. So I just think that maybe the many injection or the too much of the injection, maybe it didn't let me what? Uh, remain for fly when it cannot. Their poverty has prevented them from seeking answers and perhaps getting him help. He can't eat. He can't do nothing. Uh, even sometimes if he go to toilet, but for all the his body. At the time of our visit at around 10:30 in the morning, his mother had just returned from church to serve him breakfast. After being fed his breakfast, he had to be put on this old trunk to be bathed, but that was not done easily as his mother had to struggle, turning him around to clean his whole body. When asked why Wanda is left all alone and sometimes locked up here in this space with the ducks, his mother explained it is to save him from being discriminated against. She also says she keeps her son with the ducks when going out to prevent him from wandering around and getting lost. The reason why, when you opened the door before you came, she went out. If you some people saying the thing that maybe he's not a human being or whatever. Some I would say so the last time ago I was a sleepy because I simply said them to in the, the brothers that sleep for here. I was in the room so uh, don't tell around four, four thirty, someone can come that I should come and see him. My son was going. Before I realized he reached uh, what do you call it? Uh, twenty two. Just like many other persons with disability, Wanda's rights are clearly being violated. A 24-year-old forced to live with Dax. Wanda's mother might have an explanation for her action, but is it sound and does it excuse the fact that her son's rights are being trampled on? The only help I need, either I'll get free bad, and the way that you can fit stand on it. Whether if I get the wheel that you get lead or they will put tie on that. Because of if it's, there's no one in the house, he can feel, he himself can feel good run. Uh -huh. Because of, he was sitting on the floor for long. So the bones are what? They are growth, they are lost. So I want him to stretch the leg. Maybe if we get the wheel 
to say after if they can give him put him something to stretch the leg uh, so that they can he can feel money himself for work or whatever and that's what uh, i want majority of persons with disabilities like wanda still face various forms of discrimination and are more likely to live in poverty because of their inability to assert their rights there are always unseen barriers inhibiting their inclusion into mainstream society alice aite dh1 news